Good afternoon, all my professors, uh, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, um, today is a uh, launching ceremony of the Spectra A. Um, uh, we are telling about the non colic fatty liver disease. And my portion is um, epidemiology and sequelae of the non alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, I think uh, Professor Wayne already covered a lot uh, what I'm telling uh, now. Um, so just let me remind you about the definition of uh, nephaldi, uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease. So actually, uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease, the uh, entire uh, spectrum of fatty liver disease. This is the entire spectrum of fatty liver disease. And the important thing is it is not related to the alcohol. So we have to exclude alcoholic liver disease to diagnose nephaldi. So alcohol should be um, some amount, but it is not significant consumption of the alcohol. It is not related to uh, alcohol consumption. Then non nephaldi is a, a spectrum of disease starting from the fatty liver, uh, non alcoholic hepatitis, and cirrhosis, and finally uh, uh, nephaldi associated with the liver cancer. So nephal is uh, the presence of the hepatitis steatosis, that means fat in the liver. But there is no evidence of hepatocellular injury. So this is a very early stage of nephaldi. We call it fatty liver disease. So for the fatty liver disease, there is no hepatocellular injury and no evidence of fibrosis. And then we think of the progression of the nephal. That means fatty liver to non steatohepatitis cirrhosis etc but most of the fatty liver disease are more or less uh, the silent cases without having any complication so whether we need to investigate further for the fatty liver is uh, very controversial uh, that means you have to see uh, uh, fatty liver is uh, innocent or this is a kind of uh, that the neither of the very severe disease like a NASH and cirrhosis. So this is very con controversial topics for us. But the important thing is the inflammation. When the fat causes the inflammation, we call it steatohepatitis. This is a very important stage. Because when you have an inflammation, you have a, some repair and then you have a fibrosis. Finally, it can lead to the cirrhosis. So this is a very important stage of the nephal D spectrum because you have to do some intervention definitely in this stage. NASH, NASH is a very important stage because it can definitely progress and it can lead to the cirrhosis, fibrosis, and then finally have to cellular carcinoma. So next cirrhosis is the presence of the cirrhosis with current or previous histological evidence of NASH. So if you have a cirrhosis and some evidence of NASH, that is a NASH-related cirrhosis. So when you have a cirrhosis, this is definitely a pathological stage and then uh, this is uh, late consequences of the, our nephaldi. So, steatosis is a fat in the liver, just fatty liver disease. Steatohepatitis is fat with inflammation, non alcoholic steatohepatitis. And then progression of the disease may lead to fibrosis, liver cirrhosis, and then finally, the cirrhosis in the 20% of the cases. So, regarding the epidemiology, you know, nephaldi is not very common, non it is because of our lifestyle and then our fast food taking. This is a, one of the most common liver disorder in industrialized countries, but it's still gradually common in our country, like a developing country. 
Then it is associated with type 2 diabetes mellitus. So whether type 1 is associated with nephrology is unclear, but definitely type 2 diabetes mellitus is uh, definitely associated with our nephrology. And then obesity, you know, the obesity, this is a kind of metabolic syndrome. And then this is uh, associated with the uh, nephrology. And then this lipidemia, these are the kind of the basis uh, pathology uh, that can lead to the nephrology and uh, NASH and cirrhosis. Seafarm, caring for well-being.